All right, I'm here with David Azizi from the law offices of David Azizi, and we're going to talk about something that actually happened today with David. He, uh, he was in a deposition as it relates to a dog injury and a dog bite, and this is something that can happen at any time of the year. It could happen today. It's not one of those seasonal things. Dogs live year-round, and there's a couple of types of breeds of dogs that seem to be a little more vicious than others, and that tend to come up a little bit more, and some are Rottweilers and pit bulls. So, David, explain a little bit some of the breeds that are aggressive and explain what an owner, how an owner can be liable for the breed's reaction. Uh, well, exactly like you said, uh, Rottweilers have usually been known to be more aggressive. Pit bulls have been uh, more aggressive type of dogs. In our industry, that's, those are the two types of dogs that I usually come across which have been uh, aggressive in attacking people. And unfortunately, when they do attack people, they cause severe injuries because a lot of times it's not just a bite. They bite and clamp on, and they won't let go, and they just pull and pull and pull until, unfortunately, I've seen it in some cases, they just you know, take off a person's flesh or basically chomp off a piece of person's uh, fingers or limb or something like that to where the, I've had clients show me photos which is pretty gruesome where you see somebody's tip of the finger basically hanging by a little thread or piece of skin and they went to the hospital and a lot of times it happens to where they're able to put the finger back and have it uh, remain there and recover but unfortunately in some cases because of the amount of injury or college or bone damage that there is people end up having to get have to undergo amputation of their uh, fingers or hands or things of that nature and uh, here in California law the owner of a dog is strictly responsible for any bites that occur so it doesn't matter whether they're negligent or not if their dog bites they're responsible that's why it's a strict liability law uh, then anybody else who's a keeper of a dog who's control of a dog perhaps a landlord or somebody who owns a property if that dog attack somebody else, there are several ways that you can establish liability. One way is if that dog escapes your property that you own and it's because of the fact that your property has a gate that has a hole in it, that you're aware of it, or has a opening in it that you're aware of it, that this dog tends to get out and you don't do anything about it. Another way that there's uh, you can establish liability is if you have knowledge of the dog's vicious propensity. The dog tends to attack people, tends to, you know, growl at them, tends to come up and bark and attempt to chomp on their hand or bite their hand, and the owner is aware of this information but fails to take any action to make sure that the dog is maintained, well then the owner or the keeper would be responsible for, for the subject bite and injury. Absolutely, and this is very valuable information. So if you live in Los Angeles or anywhere in the state of California, and you've suffered a personal injury through a dog bite, to contact the law offices of David Azizi, you'll see the phone number above in the YouTube video as well as below in the info. And thank you for your time, David. All right, thank you.